think it all starts with the content that you put on the channel. So you need to almost put out a rallying cry through the content to pull them in to ask questions and comments. I find the big brands sometimes come into YouTube and they make exactly what they've been making everywhere else. That's not going to work. Have a bit of fun and go with it. Nowadays, you know, our target audience is basically on 24-7. They wake up, they probably have their phone next to them or their tablet or their PC. They check out what's the latest and greatest. The challenge is obviously having the right content and the right piece of information, if you like, on hand that they really require or they, that they look for. They want real, they want honest, they want genuine. There seems to be a wall for traditional media that when you speak, you're not speaking to the camera. They're just witnessing your conversation. And then you come onto YouTube and it's, you're talking to camera and they feel a part of it and you engage with them in the comments and you do Q and A's and you do all these things. They're helping you build whatever you're doing and that's incredibly vital. The most exciting thing about YouTube is the global reach and the shareability. The fact that, you know, you can create a conversation online and leave it. I'm walking away from it, it's finished, but it's still going. We get immediate feedback on YouTube. So if somebody didn't like the video or, or the tone we took or whatever it is, they can let us know and then we can adjust or we can defend ourselves. What YouTube does is kind of break down that fourth wall. It's about just having a real conversation and I think brands can do that very easily, but it's just investing that time and energy into thinking bigger.